Now Systems does a pretty decent job when it comes to the standard UI for your application screens. But what if you have a mockup or a design that the UX UI designer wants you to implement? In that case, you would be able to extend the default screens of our systems with your custom CSS and styling. Let me show you how. So once again, we are in my service studio. I have a reactive web application with one entity called customer having these attributes. I'll go ahead and create the listing and detail screens. Now what the platform does, it uses the standard styling uh, that comes from the theme to style the application as what you see here. Now the color scheme is coming from the logo that I chose in the beginning when I built the application, but these can also be changed very fast. Now let's say you have a mockup and you want to style these elements that you see on the screen. There are a few ways you can do it. For example, if I select any element on the screen, I'm able to work on their properties, but I also have access to a style editor just next to it. This is where I can uh, visually style the elements, for example, bolding stuff, setting up a background color maybe, and some margin. In this case, you don't have to become a CSS guru as I'm showing you right now. Some of these things are done automatically in a visual uh, way. Uh, it also helps you to see uh, the CSS styling elements itself, the exact text of it. So in case you prefer to do it in a textual form, so something like uh, color blue, that also works. So just not accept the color. In the end, uh, instead of doing this kind of inline CSS editing, you are also able to see save this style into a reusable class. For example, I can set it a name, contact style, and save it to my CSS. It will be saved into the CSS at the application level. I can also do the CSS at screen level and theme and the UI, those things are inherited from the template. And anytime if you want to access the CSS, it's all available here that's from this tab. Okay, so that pop-up came up from here. So with this, you are able to reuse the CSS class now. As you can see here, it's context style. I can reuse this on the same screen. So if I want to look for it, context style, I can assign to this as well. And if I have other screens where I want to use it, I should be able to use it. For example, customer detail. In case I go ahead and display the list of customers here. In this case, one particular customer and the contact information is something that should use the same styling. I can set the styling here or also from the properties tab where there's a, a attribute for style class. I can look for contact and here you go and immediately I get the style. So that's how you use style sheets, uh, the style classes as well as the editor to make sure the application follows standard design in all different screens and it can be done very, very fast.